Senator Fongo, Lindsey Graham, John McCain, Dick Durbin, and James Sensenbrenner, Chuck Hagel, Evan By, Bill Frist, Barack Obama, George Allen. And I believe there's a shift in politics going on in the Senate and the Republican Party away from a border security only bill to a comprehensive approach being advocated by the president. Unless the comprehensive reform and any of this so-called temporary worker, guest worker, unless that does not reward illegal behavior, I don't think we ought to be passing anything that rewards illegal behavior or, or amnesty. Is that different than the president's position? Apparently so. First of all, I don't know if we have the vote. Second of all, I've been very pleased with the president's comments in Mexico and about this issue. He has said earned citizenship. He has come out in favor of a guest worker program. Now, American citizenship should not be for sale. And what the Senate bill does is it says if they pay those $2,000 fines, they can end up being a citizen. Uh, I think American citizenship is priceless. The amnesty is where you give somebody who has broken the law enter this country illegally a leg up in applying for citizenship in this country. You put them ahead the three million people who are outside our borders today. If somebody is here and they're a felon or multiple misdemeanors or somebody who is not working, somebody who has been here for a year, somebody who has intentions other than staying here, yes, I think they'd have to go back home. Nobody who makes these proposals has uh, explained to me a realistic mechanism whereby we're going to ship 11 to 12 million people uh, out of the country. If you're sitting in the White House, wouldn't you rather punt the issue too? But you know, at the White House, what I keep hearing is that no, the safe thing is to get them to vote. That they have the chance to lay down their marker on where this is and that Republicans need to do that. I think we'd be a lot better off if we had more Chuck Hagels and Dick Lugers involved in this debate. And then Senator Patrick Leahy came and said that he is inclined to support censure. So support for this is growing. I am one of the least partisan members of the United States Senate by, by all accounts. I call them as I see them. And if this were a Democratic president, I think you know and everybody else knows I'd be doing the very same thing. This has nothing to do with political ambitions. Now that you've had your hearing, are you going to give up this idea of censure or are you going to push for a vote? Well, of course I want to vote. The president has broken the law. But we owe it to this country to do more than just vent our frustrations or to engage in symbolic actions. We have to change our course. That means rewriting the FISA statute and ultimately winning November's elections so that we can have more checks and balances. I just don't see that, how that helps us get to either of those outcomes. Do you believe that Jerry Falwell is still an agent of intolerance? No, I don't. I think that Jerry Falwell can explain to you his views on this program when you have him on. My position has always been that I will vote against a constitutional amendment which will come before the Senate on, uh, on this issue because I think the states should decide. That's the essence of federalism. In my state of Arizona, we have a ballot initiative on this issue which I am supporting. And I think most Americans will judge me by my entire record. When do you make a decision whether to run for president? Next year. 07? 07. Early? I, I haven't exactly uh, ascertained that. You want to be president of the United States? Well, I'll make a decision on my political future after the uh, election uh, this year. Uh, we need uh, a lot of good people like Senator Bai and others in this business, and, and I think we do have a lot of great people who uh, are going to come forward for the 2008 election. America needs them, both Democrats and Republicans. Well, do you want to be president of the United States? I want to help lead this country in a better direction, Wolf. We need that. Uh, what capacity that will mean, I haven't decided yet. I hope it won't harm our friendship if I don't announce that on your show here you today. You want to run for president? I don't know. I'll decide when I, when I get back home to Nashville to live in the home that I grew up in in 2007. My focus 100% right now is on help leading this, this country and this Senate in a way that makes us more prosperous and healthier and safer. What? And we'll be watching. Senator John McCain, thanks for joining us and sharing your views. I haven't had so much fun since my last interrogation. <laughs> Coming next, the former commander. You talk too much. When you meet the men and women who serve America in the military and in the government, you find the strength and character of this nation. You find courage, commitment, 
and the enduring belief that the best thing of all is what matters most, freedom.